welcome to my channel. Today's video, front LED lights, rear fog lights, and a strip light as indicators as well. Go to that in a minute. On air horns, which you can hear, I do this. Very loud. That's a bit better. I mean, it's a 7.3 engine in there, what do you expect? Right, coming up, you're gonna see how I fitted these front lights. I can see what amount of work sometimes, but they damn look good. I didn't show you fitting these, I mean, oh. okay, you get what you pay for, it's simple, isn't it? China and all. Coming up is me fitting these lights. Have a little watch. It may go on, I'll try and shorten it for you. Hi, Mark Savage here, got my cup of tea. My door got me this cup, and it says, oh, it's on both sides, awesome dads have tattoos and beards. Huh? Huh? Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, I've actually got a nice set of quad air horns coming with one of those three-litre compressors. I hope you enjoy putting that on. But first, LED lights. I bought these a while ago to put on another project I had. And when it said 10, and I put two of, I thought, it meant 10, I bought 20. So I used eight, and I've got 12 of these left over, and I'm thinking, what do you reckon? Putting them on here or in here? I can't decide. So I'm gonna set them up in many ways and decide which one I'm gonna have. I've also got these side orange ones I'm actually gonna put in the sides here. But I think, I think it'd be nicer to have them inlaid like that, you know, rather than on top. Um, obviously I'll have to get some plastic which I think I've got so I've got this plastic and well I'll be able to <clears throat> that hurts what I'll be able to do yeah, ridiculous now that's deep what I'll be able to do is um, cut small bits and, oh freaking hell and um, put them through that way rather than drilling them in I don't know, I'm going to set many things up, I'm going to sort my freaking voice out, I've got to cough and make loads of noises now. Anyway, um, and plus the fact I'm going to have to have a reasonably sized hole through here, if I drill that in there, where that will just nicely go through the honeycomb, which I think you can see, it's nicely honeycombed. Let's stop that, give a minute. So after much playing with, <laughs> do you know I bought these as well, talk about tacky. You sort of look at things, but I've got LED upgrades. Um, I've got a wire, completely wire them in. They're going to look quite nice actually with the actual uh, upgrade. And I'm going to drill them in so don't actually damage this. Come up with that sort of idea. What do you reckon? You know? So one, two, three, four. Nicely laid out. Then one's there. I could put another two there, but I didn't want to reshape it. I've got 12 to play with. And I said, I won't damage anything now if I just put these through the honeycomb. If I ever sell it, shut up. What I have done is saved one of my old motorbike batteries and it still works. But you get to see. They don't look too bad, do they? You know? I'm going to test every single one before I put the damn things together. thing of doing things like this is all engineered sort of in your head you know, you've got to have an idea so the idea for this big old grill I didn't want to put them on here I thought they'd stick out too much do you know it's so simple cut the drill holes so I thought I'd put it in the honeycomb um, all round a much better idea I think And I thought I've got this little bit of, I thought I've got this little bit of sheet here, plastic, it's good enough. And then I cut them in little strips, and then I just get a pair of snips and snip them, and then they are bang on the size. So you're not going to see it from behind. You see? All I've got to do is put ordinary screws now. I'll get some screws, work out the right length, and attach them. Do you know? 
So that's my next job, lining them all up, putting them all on. And there is placement all sorted. Side ones, I've got the covers on. One, two, three, four, five, six, etc, etc, etc. What do you reckon? Four at the top, two in the middle, four at the bottom. I think that looks better than having them on here. Now the wires, I'll sort of use the hexagons and hide them. Now all the hard work comes into it. All that lot back there. I'm gonna work out how to wire it. As I said, I'm using, using the proper wire and I'm using these little heat things. So I'll twist them round and then move on, daisy chain it all the way to one end only. Wire well, came up and said use the smaller ones. But, so, it's not for the faint hearted. I've got to heat gun all the wires at the back. But, what do you think of that? Daisy chaining it all round. And then heat wrapping everything that I did. Let's just glue them all in. Now I fitted this strip light and I fitted extra fog lights. I hate them silly little square things. I just, I just hate them, so I fitted them. End of the day, you get what you pay for, yeah? So, plastic, cheap, but they work. And this, oh, like two weeks to come from down the road. It was lost in post, what a load of crock of, yeah. However, it says it does five things, okay? It says it does reverse light, which is this one here, which it does, it's a separate wire. Then it says it's got a side light, which it has, the top one. And then it says it does left hand indicator and right hand indicator, which is great, and hazards, and they run really good. Here's the little bit that didn't make any sense. It says there's a stop light, but the stop light you have to put crossing both of the indicators. It's only got three plugs and an earth. So earth, side light, left, right, cross it with a brake. It just sends a loop back to the whole system. Basically you can't have five things at once. <laughs> you can have a stop light, a side light, a reverse light, yeah. Or you can have what I've decided to do, which indicators, which look amazing, if I'm honest with you. And side light, reverse light, I've got to connect up because American truck doesn't have it. But just peel it off, stick it on, find the wires, job done. One size doesn't fit all when it comes to my next chat. At the beginning, I briefly showed you it's a six litre compressor, which is actually only three litre. It comes from being q <laughs> Who knew? I'm delivering. And it's got four trumpet horns. Now, on my big, huge, I say huge, Dodge Ram, I mean, it's taller, not wider. I had the proper, you know, six litre tank there and the trumpets were like this, and that was absolutely astonishing loud. And I'm quite surprised in this echo area, this sounds quite good. It's only a three litre tank, but I didn't show you fitting it because at the end of the day, it's more engineering. One size does not fit all. That's the biggest problem you're gonna have. You get the tank, you get trumpets, you get a bit of pipe that connects them, and then some bolts. But you've got to connect it to your battery, okay? So one more has to go to your battery, and then go into the cab, into a switch. Back from the switch to the actual compressor. Then, you've got to get an earth, and then you've got to earth the trumpets, because they're separate wire to them, because it's got a solenoid there, and then it has to go to your horn. But your car, truck, lorry, will have everything in different places. I did get 10 amp wire, it said you actually need 15 to 20. So I used dedicated house, I know, but it was heavy duty, proper one. So it's isolated, insulated as well, isolated here, insulated as well, big thick rubber, and I thought I'd use that. And it worked perfectly with a 20 amp fuse, pucker sound. Let me show you how I fitted it. You can see, there's the uh, three litre, not six litre compressor, and I had to build a little frame behind it, and then I had to put the trumpets up there. So. Got loads of, uh, I love having a cage on it, I must admit. It's only a little one, but it works really well. You can see some of the wiring I've had to do. Remember, I've come out this way, too much wind. This is a 7.3 litre lump. There's not a lot of room for anything else. When I took the grid off, I thought I'd be able to put it there. But you've got the rad, and you've got the old rad, and you've got lots of wires. Someone actually was here before. Every time I move something, there's stacks of wires, cut wires. There's a three trace wire front here. So you've got side light, um, you've got your running daylights, which is yellow ones, and indicators. Looks a mess, and they've put this bulb in with a little resistor. It's boiling, I'm gonna scrap that and redo that anyway. So that's another project for mine, not gonna bother you with that, because it's simple. But the placement is bloody hard, and that's why I didn't 
bother showing you all the hard work of cutting the plate, flattening it, getting the four holes, then the chassis, you couldn't drill holes in the chassis, so I had to marry up the two holes that were there, and then put really big bugger bolts, double nutted them, and then put them, double nutted them as well, and then stuck it all on that way, really goddamn tight, washers everywhere, and then put it on. Then run the wires from the ignition, nope. Then run the wire, and then run a wire from the battery, all the way into the dash to a switch, 20 amp switch, and then back through again with an earth, which is a dis slightly discoloured one. Let me show you actually. Using this for reverse lights. So you've got three on here, no instructions, but you guess that this is the earth, which it is, and power to it, and of course it lights. You have to have a lit one for the fog lights. This is gonna be my, my reverse light, because I can't find any other trip for it. Doesn't need a reverse light, won't fail the MOT. But it's nice having a light there, so you know it's still on. So, well worth seven quid, I think they are from Halfords. You probably get them cheap other places. That's what I've just come out to do now. And I'm gonna wipe the reverse light. Just nice, when I back up onto my drive, I can just flick it on, and there's a light there, blue, that tells me it's on, and don't drive it on, because it's actually illegal to drive a white light at the back. Be a mistake, that bad copper to Nick, you wouldn't you? Anyway, so there you go. Gonna go round again, hopefully you like it. Dear door, dear door. Welcome to Brankery. Every single day now, helicopters, police cars, what's next, riot vans. People move out from London and say it's wonderful here. <laughs> Used to be. Anyway, let's start her up, show you the lights again. Fun. So I mean, that's side light, that's in the car. But that's doing a weird thing as well, not much. I like them. I know you can't really see them in the dark. I like them. I know you can't really see how wonderful they are. It was dull early when I left. I thought it was going to rain. But now, big ball of sun. Still cloudy. And there we go. Same on this side. They're all working. They weren't working when I got it. Indicator. Running light. Red running light. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's nice. What do you reckon, eh? Nice? Yeah, I think so. But I put them on again. See, next to it, them, they're reverse lights. When I wired out, it went weird. I think it shorted out. I think they're knackered. So that's why I've got a switch. I'm independently doing it from there. I ran a wire already all the way up to the cab. Short video. I'm always doing something. Take care of the road. Bye-bye.